I'm here with the very uh, exciting and honoured task of finding out what the Food Foundation and all those involved in the Veg Summit and Peas Please have achieved uh, in the last year. Uh, and uh, so I've got these lovely, exciting, big, giant, golden envelopes, uh, Oscar style. And the first thing we're going to find out from the first of these envelopes is, very excitingly, the number of additional portions of veg which everyone involved in this project has helped to put on the plates of the nation in the first eight months of Peas Please. And the number is, the number of extra veg portions is an astonishing 4.8 million portions of veg. Thank you. And Amber's going to uh, just give us a little background on how that's been achieved, Amber. We're going to congratulate everybody who um, has contributed towards this. So if you could please stand up when your name is called. Autograph Education, Bird's Eye, Brains, Cardiff and Vale University Health Board, Cardiff Met University, Castle Towel, Greg's, Mars Food, Our Kitchen, Penelan Pantry, uh, PwC in Baxter Story and the Plough Harborn in Birmingham. Uh, well done. Well done, all of you, for contributing massively to that fantastic number. Uh, secondly, in the second big golden envelope this evening, uh, this year the Food Foundation and Sustain have joined forces to launch Veg Cities. Uh, this is a brand new initiative to get people eating more veg. Uh, Sustain have got a fantastic trek, track record with their sustainable fish cities, now extending that fantastic work to the world of veg. And, and again, basically, it boils down to getting more people in the UK to eat more veg, which is what this uh, summit is surely all about. So. Uh, in this envelope is the number of cities that have signed up. And of course, to do that, they have to make some very real commitments that are going to make a big difference. And uh, the number of uh, cities committing to sustainable veg cities is 17 cities. Um, We'd all love that to be a bigger number, but they do have to make a serious commitment. So that's the point here. 17 cities actually represents uh, great strides uh, and, and big changes in each of those cities that will make a real difference. Now, Katie's got a bit more to say about that. Yeah, and can I just say it was only this time last year that Sustainable Food Cities committed to making the pledge to develop the Veg Cities campaign. So to have 17 cities already here today is absolutely fantastic. And we've got... Um, Sophia and Ben from Sustainable Food Cities and Sustain here today, which is great. So we're going to have a very, very quick snapshot from, I think, four cities, but I'm not sure if they're all in the room. If they're all still in the room, a very quick snapshot just of, um, of what they're um, planning to achieve. So Claire Pritchard, Chair of the London Food Board. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for inviting us. So very quickly, I'm here representing the mayor. I'm the chair of the London Food Board. And we are, as of now, a veg city, pledged to be a veg city. So in our new food strategy... Hi, Rosie. Sorry, I can't ignore you. So good to see you. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm in trouble. Um, so we're committing to healthy retail plans, which will be looking at how boroughs can help access, um, uh, support shops to have better access to affordable food. We're maintaining the Good Food for London report and championing London living wage. We're supporting uh, uh, capital growth, which we're continuing to support, support food growing. And there's loads of other support measures in the strategy, but I think I'm going to stop there because we're running out of time. Oh, thank you very much, Claire. So, Livia from Nottingham, I can come to you if you're in the midst of the audience somewhere, or you can come up to the stage. I bring you up, bring you the mic over. This is part of the job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Hello, yeah, I'm Shona from Nottingham, from the Nottingham Good Food Partnership. And we are a sustainable food city 
uh, member, a network member, and uh, since May now we've been wor working towards the six key themes and a number of actions. With regards to VegCities, we are a VegCity um, city as well, and our overarching aim in Nottingham is to address the issue, the growing issue of food poverty. We've got over 30% of children in Nottingham who live in food poverty, which is very dire. Um, our campaign started back in August with Nottingham's first um, Children's Veg Power Festival, which was attended by over 400 people, over 200 kids. We had kombucha kiosks there. We're trying to change the taste buds of kids, get them switched on to food which is full of B vitamins. We had a number of uh, tasting opportunities. Uh, we gave away eight and a half kilos of crudités. We had a fair share surplus table where we gave away 160 kilograms of surplus veg, uh, 200 servings of inspired Aussie veg, uh, salads, veg muffins, all kinds of things to turn kids on to and increase the uptake of vegetables in that one event. And it was really greatly received. In addition to that, we've got something called... Uh, the Food um, Force 100, where we're re recruiting people to support uh, efforts during school holidays to address the rising issue of holiday hunger. We, run t we ran two programmes in, in the summer to address this issue. One was packing up, and the other one was making uh, food using surplus food. Um, we've got lots of other stuff uh, going on as well. Um, Oh yeah, we're working, of course, with strategic partners and we are looking to uh, get the council on board with Please, pl uh, Please and also to integrate something called Neighbour Food Nottingham uh, into, onto the council int intranet so that we can actually get more people eating and supporting local food producers. Thanks. Thank you very much. Well done. You can breathe now. <laughs> <laughs> right, Livia, Livia from Lewisham. No. Yeah. Hannah, I know you're here. <laughs> Should I bring the mic over to you? you to over there. Hello there, we're from Oxford representing Good Food Oxford. Good, uh, Oxford is a, a tale of two cities. We have the affluent north and the less affluent southeast and a life expectancy difference of about 12 years. Some of the people in many of the communities that we talked to are eating about two and a half portions of veg a day, so we're looking to bridge that gap with some fun, engaging activities. So next year we're going to pilot um, some new approaches to teaching people about cooking and vegetables using a kind of more lateral approach, less recipe based and more about empowerment, helping people season their food and make it taste delicious. The overall kind of arching theme is to make the veg sing. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. So, uh, my third envelope, uh, as you know, a big part of, of, of uh, getting uh, commitments and making change is when Peace Please uh, gently twists people's arms and lifts them up behind their back until it hurts a little bit, <laughs> and then they make a pledge for what they're going to do. Uh, and so this year, we have a whole stack of new pledges, uh, and in my envelope, I'm going to tell you how many. So this year, and pledges of course, that include businesses and institutions and councils. Uh, they come uh, in all shapes and sizes, like vegetables, uh, do <laughs> the pledges. And this year, uh, Peace Please has twisted enough arms to get 15 new pledges. Uh, all of whom will have to do some really cool stuff. Anna's going to tell us a little bit about who they are. Okay, so you see all their logos up here. All of the details of their pledges are summarised now on our website. Um, just wanted to highlight a few things. One, we've got Asda, Aldi and Waitrose now joining the four retailers who started with us last year. So we've now got more than 80% of the retail grocery sector on board, which is a great start for trying to really move the needle on, on the retail setting. Um, we've got an, a really good bunch of um, leaders in the... Um, in that they've gone now, in the uh, contract catering and uh, general catering sector. Um, together, 
they reach 833 sites, the new pledges, and that goes on top of Baxter Story's new commitment that was announced earlier, which is going to a further 700 sites. Um, and in addition, um, we had the pledge this morning from, sorry, this afternoon from Birdseye around new portions of veg in ready meals. So it's for those 15 pledges plus Baxter Story and, and Birdseye. And one I wanted to just highlight is an organisation called Goals, who run kids' football parties around the country. They're going to put serve veg before they serve the party food at all of their kids' parties, and they're going to bring 100,000 more portions in 2019 in front of kids um, over the next 12 months, which is very exciting. So please do clap, clap all of our new pledges. Uh, so, of course, uh, what those new pledges will all have in their sights is that number that we started off that session with that 4.8 million portions of food. Uh, they'll be looking to see if, thanks to their pledges and their work, we can announce an even bigger, maybe much bigger number at the Vegetable Summit next year. I've got one last envelope. Uh, this is uh, a, a, about a very important announcement which has been sort of flagged up because you've met uh, somebody who's been talking on behalf of this uh, recipient. But when a whole nation decides to join the ranks of this campaign, uh, you have to mark that occasion. And so that's what's happening now. So in my final envelope, I'd like to welcome to uh, Peace Please, one new country, Northern Ireland, is joining Peace Please. Well-deserved applause. And uh, Jack Hamilton, who you just heard earlier, is here representing Food and I, uh, who are joining the Peace Please team. So please give him another round of applause. On behalf of Food and I, thank you very much for welcoming us in. We're really excited to be a part of this uh, at Mass Trek. We've been working together since uh, since the start, and um, unfortunately, the the representative Food and I can't be here. Uh, but at Mass Trek, we'd like to make a pledge today that we'll donate at least 300 kilos of fresh veg to Fair Share every month for the next 12 months until the next until the next one. And for you specifically, we'll have a meeting every single week to see how we can improve the compostability of all of our packaging across the company. Right. <laughs>